Grab your lightsaber and adopt a super cute space baby, because soon we'll be returning to a galaxy far, far away with Star Wars The High Republic, a new series of books and comics from the creative minds at Lucasfilms. The sacred Jedi texts! Ooh, read them, have you? Well, I mean, page turners, they were not. Cut them some slack, man. These books aren't even out yet. On this IMD Brief, we'll explore the High Republic and take a look at the Jedi's newest villains. Lucasfilm has only officially announced publishing plans for The High Republic, but that doesn't mean the company isn't developing TV shows and films based around the new intergalactic era. In fact, Disney's announced release dates for three Star Wars movies, and one of those films might focus on the Jedi Golden Age. May the Force be with you. Aw, thanks, Yoda. The idea for this new era of Star Wars stories was inspired by the sweet space musings of smooth jazz enthusiast and Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. For over a thousand generations, the Jedi Knights were the guardians of peace and justice in the Old Republic. Using this line of dialogue, a team of writers, including Charles Sewell and Claudia Gray, came up with five titles for Phase 1 of the High Republic, which is set 200 years before Episode 1 and the rule of the evil Senator Palpatine, when there was peace in the galaxy and the Jedi prospered as guardians. We have no army, and I can only protect you. I can't fight a war for you. During this time, the Jedi are compared to the Knights of the Round Table and Texas Rangers, not that Texas Ranger, exploring and protecting new frontiers while expanding the Republic. Everything seemed all hunky-dory until an event called the Great Disaster. Lucasfilm hasn't disclosed what happens during the cataclysmic event, but has compared it to the destruction of the first Death Star as it is a moment that affects the entire galaxy and kicks off the events of the High Republic. Though Disney has yet to reveal what the great disaster is, the company has given us a pretty good idea who's behind the devastating act. A violent group known as the Nile. The steampunk-looking baddies and newest enemies of the Jedi are referred to as Space Vikings. Yes, you heard that right. Space Vikings. How clever of me to think of it. Come along, sir, and have a care with that instrument of the devil. The Nile are not a race, but a group of armor-wearing individuals with a creed they seem to live by. Remind you of anyone? This is the way. This is the way. But the Nile have a different and much creepier saying than the Mandalorians, which is, you can't take it with you, but we can take it from you. The menacing marauders also have the ability to use hyperspace in a very destructive way, which apparently is what makes them such a dangerous threat to the Jedi and the Republic. I sense we have a great opportunity to strike a deadly blow to the Jedi Order. Based on the group's name, we have a theory as to why they so fearsomely hate the Jedi. In the Old Republic, there was a Sith Lord known as Darth Nihilus, who despised the Jedi so much that he led a great purge that nearly wiped the robed space wizards out of existence. Even though the Dark Lord has been long dead during the events of the High Republic, the Nile could have taken on his name and followed his teachings, which means they could be Dark Force users who were out for Jedi blood. You don't know the power of the dark side. And I don't want to. For more of what's trending at the top of IMDb, stay tuned to imdb.com slash imdbrief.